first of all, let me tell you that the whole beet is edible. You see these leaves? Don't throw them away. They're wonderful steamed, or you could put them in a salad. So beet greens, you buy them in a grocery store, you pay a hefty price for them. So don't throw those away. Those are really good. Now, to cook beets, and you know they stain something fierce, so you want to be careful with them. I usually do them in the microwave, but you could boil them or you could wrap them in foil and roast them. But to do that, you want to cut them right about there. Save those leaves. And the reason you cut them about there is because you don't want them to bleed. If you cut it all the way down to the base, then a lot of the juice would leach out. So then I take off that little edge, and then if I'm going to do them in the microwave, I just give them a little poke here and there so they don't explode. And you put them in the microwave on high power, and when a knife can easily be inserted in there, then they're done. So once you have them cooked and peeled, they look like this. And these are red beets, but there are yellow beets and all kinds of beets, purple beets. And I just think that this is a great salad for summer. So you cut the beets up, and you see how nice and tender they are, and they have a nice little spiral look to them. I'm going to put them right in my salad bowl. And with this, we're going to add some very simple seasoning. So once you have your beets cut up, you'll want a shallot, something that has a nice mild flavor. And here's a, a big shallot. And all I did was peel that and chopped it up. So here we have it right here. So that goes in, kind of mimics the color of those beets, doesn't it? And then a little sugar. This is just going to bring out the flavor of these beets, because beets really are sweet to begin with. And they're a great root vegetable. They've got a lot of fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C. Here's a little salt. So a little salt goes in. And a dash of pepper. And we want some garlic. So one fresh globe, uh, clove of garlic, minced up, goes in. And I like celery salt or celery seed with this. So here's some celery salt, about a teaspoon. That goes in. And now we give this some olive oil. I would say, oh, about a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And we want some red wine vinegar. about three tablespoons or so. And again, this is the type of a salad where you really want to make this early in the day because the longer it sits, the better the flavors. So you mix that all up, get that all well combined. Isn't it pretty? Just beautiful color. And then I like to add some arugula to this. So here's some arugula that I took out of my garden. And there's the wide leaf arugula, and then there's this very wispy, thin-looking arugula, which is a wild arugula that my husband loves to grow. So I'm just going to take some of those leaves and just put them in. And it has a nice peppery flavor, and I like that in this salad. Plus, it adds a nice color contrast to the beets. And then toss that again. And then the last thing I do, because this is about basil, is add some basil. And again, I'm telling you, always add it at the end, because the color will stay better. It won't be dark and soggy. And you just rip a few leaves right into the salad. And as you do that, of course, you're going to release the oils in the basil. And that flavor and that smell is just going to really perfume your entire kitchen. So I don't know about you, but I can't resist a beet salad flavored with basilico. <laughs>